This video will cover how to automate workflows. There are a few things you'll want to do to prep first if you want to send emails or add to call queues. I'll cover those in the video after the feature overview. Automated workflows is an excellent feature to save you time and prioritize calls and tasks. Go to Settings. Automated Workflows. Click Add. This option for Stop Workflow if no longer matches criteria allows you to stop the pending actions if, say, you switch them from a new lead to quoted. Obviously, if you've quoted them, you don't want generalized lead messages going to them any longer. You'll set the trigger. So let's say for leads with a status of new lead. Save. You can create actions such as add task, send email, send text message, add or remove a tag, reassign an agent or a record status, add to or remove from a call queue, HTTP trigger, and set the timing and who it goes to. You can choose the lead or the client, the assigned agent or a specific agent. In the email option, you can also send to a specific email address. For instance, if you have a verification person, you can send them an email template with the prospect's details for them to complete the verification. You'd then save the action and continue on creating as many as you want. Before you start creating workflows, if you're going to add actions for send email, you'll first want to create the email templates. If you're planning on adding actions for call queues, you'll need to set those up in Settings, Phone Dialer, and Call Queues in the Call Queues tab. Create any custom status dispositions that you'll need in Settings, Status Options. These features are covered in depth in other tutorials. You also should complete the custom SMTP settings prior to sending any emails. Those instructions are in the written portion of this tutorial. Let's do a few more examples. Automated workflows is really my favorite way to get my own work done, or more accurately, my favorite way of letting the system do the work for me, or at least telling me what my priorities are, so I think it's worth a few more minutes of examining. Again, we'll go to Settings, Automated Workflows. Let's say you've called that new lead because the first workflow we created had put them into your call queue for new leads. While you were on the phone with them, you would disposition them to their new status. Let's say, quote requested. So for the workflow, you can create one based off of that new status. So if you want new actions to generate, you'll have had to have created a workflow for it. You'd add a workflow, select for leads, status is quote requested, save, add action. Let's first remove from all call queues zero minutes. That way you don't accidentally call them in another lead list. Then add an action of one day later, add to call queue of quote follow up. You could also send them an SMS message five minutes later of thank you for your quote request. That's five minutes from the time of the trigger, which was the status change, not five minutes after the previous action. If you didn't reach them on that first call, you could disposition them to something like second call needed. Let's create a workflow for that. Second call needed is the name. Stop workflow if no longer matches criteria. 
for leads. Status is second call needed. Save. Add action to remove from first call needed at zero minutes. Add action to add to call number two needed, let's say three hours later. Another action people like utilizing in this status option is send SMS. So five minutes later, you can have a message go out that says something like, hello, I just left you a voice message and we'll try you later. If you need anything from me in the meantime, please call me at 702-919-6298. I just wanted you to have my number since I'm sure you get a lot of marketing calls. Talk to you soon. Another tip for leads that have been in the system a while without being converted to a client, you could archive them into a status of old lead or non-responsive lead after 90 days. That way you can do a mass email to those old leads around open enrollment or if you have any new information to give them at a later point. My personal preference is to not use tasks in automated workflows. I let my call queues tell me who to call and when. But if somebody asks for a specific call time, I go into their file and click Add Task there so that it's specific to that time. I personally just don't like to have tons of tasks in my calendar, so it's my preference. But if you like it, Add Task is there for you. It's helpful if you want to assign a specific function to a particular agent. So if you're the assigned agent, but Alex Richardson is responsible for verifications, you can add an automated task for that user for the specific leader client. Note that these automated workflows that you're creating are not retroactive. So if you already have leads and clients in the system, the workflows will not auto-generate. Also, if you add leads and clients from a CSV file import, those will also not trigger automated workflows. You can use the bulk update feature to change their status or tag or whatever criteria you're utilizing. We've covered a lot, but hopefully that gives you some good examples of how to use automated workflows to their full potential. The other features that I've referenced have links to their tutorials in the written portion of this tutorial page.